I'm Vanetta Hayes, an environmental chemical specialist with Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality's Division of Environmental Assessment. One of our roles is to monitor air quality at stations like the one behind me. These stations take direct measurements of pollutants to be used for analyzing trends and for compliance with the National Ambient Air Quality Standard. Some of the pollutants that are measured at these sites are volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, particulate matter, and ozone. These sites collect hourly readings, which are displayed on our website at the link below. There are over 41 sites like this over the state, and the list of these sites can also be found at the link below. Let's take a look inside. Each station has air monitoring equipment that is determined by its location and the things around it. For example, this monitoring site is located in a minor industrial area and is also used to gather long-term trends. So this monitoring site has monitoring for pollutants such as nitrogen dioxide, SO2 or sulfur dioxide, ozone, particulate matter, and volatile organic compounds. These measurements are taken by drawing air through the manifold or tube that is here on, mounted through the ceiling, and that air comes into each of these monitoring pieces of equipment and is analyzed for a particular pollutant. This information is then sent to the data logger, which collects the data and transmits it to our database to be analyzed and shown on our website. You can check the information for a site near you by looking at the link below. All of our monitoring sites have their equipment determined by EPA. EPA also determines the location of these monitoring sites and what they monitor for. Any abnormal readings are recorded and inherent spikes or trends are investigated for corrective action. This corrective action may include adjustment of a facility's permit or adjustment of industrial functioning. All of our site operators visit their sites multiple times throughout the week to check the equipment, change out canisters, and record data as needed. These semi canisters are also used in the field to pull an air sample should an emergency or need arise. The canisters are sent to a lab where the sample is analyzed. Once evaluated, any concerns that arise will result in an evaluation of any meteorological, environmental, or industrial conditions that may be causing or contributing to the higher values. In addition to SUMA canisters, when responding to an event, our emergency responders and air monitoring staff in the field will use this area array. This is a handheld wireless transportable air monitor that detects toxic and combustible gases, volatile organic chemicals, radiation, and meteorological data. It's helpful in our emergency response function as we conduct air monitoring during hazardous materials releases, fires, facility upsets, and other events. The area array sends the gathered data to remote monitoring software and the results are provided fairly quickly. Like the SUMA canister, area arrays are tools we use to see what constituents may currently exist in the air at a given location. Should you request air monitoring where you live, please call our single point of contact line at 1-888-763-5424 or through the other contacts listed here. Hi, I'm David Wagonet, environmental scientist with the Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality. Yet another component of our air monitoring capability is a mobile air monitoring laboratory. This highly specialized, high-tech vehicle can be moved anywhere statewide for an air release or potential air release, but we need a real-time data for extended period of time. It has a real advantage over numerous fixed sites because of its mobility. You can see the silver meteorological mast. Once positioned on site, we raise that to collect temperature, wind direction, wind speed, relative humidity. And these things can help us determine um, if we need to move or stay. It can also help determine or eliminate a source of pollution. The white PVC is the intake for ambient air that goes to the entrance inside. Welcome aboard the mammal. As I pointed out earlier, the sample lines come in outside and connect to this manifold right here. From there, the sample lines go to these valves. The purpose of the valves is so we can switch from ambient air to zero air or calibration gas. And we do that to ensure each instrument is calibrated and operating properly. You'll also notice a Wi-Fi system right here. 
This is very important. We're out in the field uh, during an emergency response incident so we can communicate to headquarters or other responders of what we're seeing. Most of our instrumentation here is online or continuous. It accomplishes that through a light bulb and the air passes under that light bulb and will make a reading. Although one of our instruments, the particulate matter, does in fact have a filter that it filters and continually weighs that filter. This gas chromatograph mass spec analyzes for volatile organics. We collect samples in a special can and we attach it to this instrument. It's able to separate volatile organics. Currently it's calibrated for 55, although we can see hundreds of compounds. Data is gathered and stored on the mammal through the use of computers. And once the mission is complete, this data is reviewed by our staff, it's validated and put into reports that we then add to the DEQ website, EDMS, Electronic Data Management System, where anyone statewide or worldwide can review the report. We also tag it uh, per event or per facility. So if you're looking for a particular event or facility, then they're easily found. Thank you.